All right. Um, so uh, interestingly, this is actually the third time that I am taking uh, this fundamental component, this fundamental song, um, and turning it into something else. The first time I, uh, when I first wrote it, it was somewhere around 1991, 1992, and uh, I could I could never get it exactly right, but I had like uh, kind of the name. And uh, I called it The Room, and it was inspired after reading uh, a story of the same name by Sartre. Um, I was just a baby existentialist back then. Um, and then uh, I ended up using uh, the same chord progression and the same general sound uh, for my pre-transition solo work, um, which was Dust in a Shadow. And that one turned into a song called The Whirlwind. Uh, which we are going to listen to um, at a break at some point here. And uh, now this is, yeah, this is the third time uh, using this particular progression. Um, and uh, the reason I said all that, aside from just like giving you all some context, is that in that original, um, uh, this again was the early 90s, so I was using a tape machine and I got myself like a, a two or three channel, two or four channel mixer. And I would hook up a cassette player as one of the inputs, and uh, I had like a bunch of uh, a bunch of cassettes of like sound effects and stuff because I would uh, I would often do collage work. Um, so uh, the original version of this song actually started up with like some really really fucked up uh, samples of horses, <laughs> and I thought just as a uh, as a kind of tribute. Um, to uh to that uh to the origin of uh of this uh of this piece i thought well why not let's uh let's do some <laughs> let's do some weird stuff with uh samples of horses oh uh, it sounds goes silly when i say it out loud now but mm, okay so various things here and uh what i want to do is we're going to run all of these um, to a send, and uh, if y'all uh, if y'all have been here before, you might remember you might know that a send is simply routing audio to a distinct channel, and then you can uh, you can um, you can uh, put the same kind of effects or whatever uh, whatever um, signal chain changes that you want. So here's the new track I I laid in, and we're gonna call it. Uh, horse space and um, we're gonna put an effect on on here and let's just start with uh, space designer maybe ah wirehead arts I see you there with your punning too bad we can't kick out our own mods right love you friend all right so let's try something like that just temporary and uh, we're gonna go to um, this track. All right, this one is soloed. Um, and uh, we're gonna send over here. This little, um, this little control here um, is, uh, is how much of the signal you send dry, which is unaffected, versus wet. So we're gonna bring in um, about uh, minus four dB of the effect. And when you send an effect on an aux, on a, on a, on a send, you want the wet to be all, um, all the way up. So uh, let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, you hear that? Well, let's do some warp shit.
chingón. So let's do the same thing for all of the other horse tracks. Send them all to bus seven and put them all at relatively the same volume. And uh, let's solo them all for now. And let's uh, just kind of space them out a bit. And see how they blend. And we're just kind of staggering them randomly because the beat doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty fucked up. Love it. Um, so let's take all of these and bring them way, way down in the mix. which are here through here and we're going to drag all of the uh, all of them down <laughs> and uh, on bus seven in the horse space uh, let's let's take the wet signal down just a little oh that is pretty loud um, all right, let's put a let's put a, a gain plug in there, uh, which is probably not um, what you're supposed to do. But and let's bring the gain down. <laughs> are so loud when they're all pulled down so much but okay uh, let's put gain directly in the signal chain for each of these and bring that gain down and hopefully this works that's better all right and what we're gonna do is put all of these in a track stack in a folder um, that is a summing stack and uh, now we can um, control them all from here and bring that volume down again. You know, I thought about making a, uh, a logic icon for a horse and I didn't do it. All right, let's hear it all in C2. Let's turn off the soloing on all these puppies and unmute and see how it sounds in C2. Okay, we're gonna drag these puppies out and get them all the way to the eighth measure. Um, so what we're gonna do is double some of these puppies up, 
repeat with them and just like kind of randomly space them around. Um, we might also reverse the audio on some of them. Um, I, uh, I took a, I, I saw a, a documentary about how, um, horror movie or how uh, movie soundtracks are made and, um, I completely forgot where I was going with that. Oh my God. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> that. 